Hello YouTube, this is Puck. Today I want to talk about a real serious problem in iPhone world and it's called the red screen of death. But it can also be the blue screen of death. So what is this problem and where did it come from? Well, after some research we found out that the proximity cable that connects the front cam to the motherboard with the sensors on it most of the time there's a problem with one of these sensors or there's a little crack in the cable you know and this is most common if you dropped your phone if you dropped your phone and after two three days you got this or you replaced your screen you know, because uh, not everybody uh, knows how to replace the iPhone screen in a proper way. And, uh, well, there are complete schools here. I have a friend, he has, he's like the iPhone guru. He can almost, uh, you know, you can blind him and he can like open an iPhone and <laughs> disassemble it. Well, not really, but he goes to a kind of Apple school to learn all these things. You know, you got to educate to know about uh, hardware of the machine, etc., etc. But this problem that you guys are getting has to do with this cable. And how can you fix it? You can fix it really easy by opening the phone and just unplugging the cable, the one that connects your front cam from the motherboard. Just disconnect it and see if your phone starts up and boots up fine and if the problem is gone. Of course, if you have warranty, uh, you should not do that. You should go to the Apple store and get your device replaced. But uh, if you have no warranty, well, I cannot, yeah, maybe an iPhone 5 that you have no warranty anymore and you get this problem. Most of the time is because uh, the phone was dropped, you know, but if you never dropped your phone and it came out of nothing, well, then I think it should become long time ago when you just got the phone because I have the idea that it's the cable you know the proximity cable of however it is called I always say it wrong but your phone shop will know what cable I'm talking about the one that connects your front cam you know to the motherboard there are there are sensors on it you know and um, well, we had a problem and the purple uh, sensor was, there was a crack in it and we replaced it and the phone was, you know, fixed and everything was working again. So I think that you phone shops must really uh, get a bunch of these uh, cables because the problem is in the cable. And I'm not sure if it's a disassembly problem, uh, disassembly, an assembly problem, you know, in China. We all know that uh, the people there at the Apple factories, they work really, really hard. They make over hours, 18 hours per day. Some are just falling asleep there behind their work. Could be that uh, something went wrong up there in the new iPhones. That's why new iPhones are getting it after one week, two week, uh, two weeks, they already get this problem. So most of the time, if you get the problem when you just got the phone, then of course you must let it be replaced by iPhone by Apple immediately but if uh, you got this problem after dropping it and you have no warranty anymore and you don't really care about the front cam it's the front cam you know if you um, disassemble the cable then you will see that everything will be fine now peeps uh, I hope this helped a little bit uh, please uh, let me know your problem please uh, write it down in the comments i want to know all about this problem the red and the blue screen of that um, we fixed it by replacing the cable and we found out that uh, it was the problem by just you know disconnecting the cable and see uh, if the phone was then booting up and <laughs> miraculously it did boot up and it was just fine as if it never had a problem before. So guys, check that, pro check that problem out. Maybe you can fix it yourself. So uh, just disconnect the cable of the front cam and you will be uh, fine and good to go and, you know, do your backup, restore it to new, bring it back to Apple. But I think if you open the phone, you will be uh, messed up because there are little stickers in, in the phone. 
and if you don't put them back the right way you know you lose your warranty so remember that better bring it to the apple store and let them deal with it but if you have no warranty anymore just try this and you will see that your phone will work again if this helped out please like subscribe and till my next video bye